Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Bjorn Ironside. I hope you guys can like it. This man has put on a striking clinic and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game. The ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Copenhagen, Denmark, invincible. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out there. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Nice loop of punch. And that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Authority. All right, single title time now. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. A 
he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Counter attempt here, but a miss. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Beautiful strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Checks the leg kick. Outstanding kick there by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. He put it to good use there. All right, so he continues to use it. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Very tricky. Nice punch there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, collar tie. Oh, uppercut right on the chin. Real quick leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. His shot's nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Goes back to that left kick once again. Over and over, he's landing on big body kicks. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Left hand punch with the good. Oh, big knee there. Came with inches right there. Wow. wow. It was a good night if that landed. 20 seconds left. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! He's hurt. This serve him up. We'll and now he lands a combination. Oh, he might be out. And that one was heavy. Trying to stay in this fight. Fuck. 
fight here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Big head kick. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful body. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. A little single collar tie there. Finish. Oh, straight right. Oh, there he goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big body kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He fixed it up. He was high. here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. Some nice back and forth action here. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's trying to double up on that jab. Nice body kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly the oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, so this is the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Ben Ironside, thank you guys for watching. Bruce, the oh well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight, you going to the after party or what? I mean I'm heading over there right now John, I'm asking the producers how soon can I get up, this is going to be a party over there, not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.